Hey, this is Pishin, Abby, and uh, this is the healthcare giver, Mary, and uh, me, physical therapist. Uh, today, uh, we're going to do the range of motion on the shoulder and the shoulder and the chest, muscle and the contractor. What we'll do is uh, shoulder flexing motion. This means uh, when patient is uh, lying down, and the therapist uh, hold the hands of the patient and the move until this position up as, as far as possible and the patient can tolerance the pain as well. Okay, the next motion is extension. Uh, patient is in the side line position and the therapist uh, holds the patient's hand, hand and then move backward until she can call it pass down and then back. The is uh, abduction motion and the patient is in Supine position and the therapist hold the patient's hand and then move horizontally from here to this position. Okay. Okay. One is a duction motion. Uh, patient is still in the supine position and the therapist move patient's hand to the upside of the body. Patients are heart rate. The technique is to take the patient's hands and use these two fingers, touch the patient's hand, and uh, count one minutes and how many times the patient's cross this. And also, you can measure the regularity of the heart rate. Heart rate is measured when patient is lying down. And uh, we count patient quite uh, desperate rate. Inhale and then uh, outhale is once. Then we count the uh, expiration rate uh, for one minute. Blood pressure is measured when patient feel dizzy or uh, sit up from the bed. And uh, also when she doing exercises uh, after or before, you can measure the blood pressure, make sure patient is the same. The weight is... And this on the arm of the person. the pressure. Then we heard the pulse. The first sound is the systolic pressure and uh, when you lower the pressure and then the last sound is uh, diatonic pressure. 